I think people come here because it's so different. It was a coal mining town in the, um, you know, early part of the century, and then it was a ghost town, and then um, artists moved in, and it's now sort of an artist community, and with a bunch of home-based businesses, and, um, you know, locally made goods and services are here. But yeah, you'll find things here that uh, people have made themselves, or just are so unique you don't really see them in the mainstream shopping. It's nice, there's a diverse uh, group of, well, shops, there's galleries, there's um, restaurants, people for lunch, and um, a diverse community, a creative community, um, and a welcoming place. People who are visiting from other states have never been anywhere like this and I get asked what it's like to live here and work here and uh, it's really really unusual and different and um, a good place to kind of experience. I think people don't know what to expect. They, you know somebody mentions this little town that's halfway between Santa Fe and Albuquerque and you, know, you gotta stop there and, and check it out and they just don't really know what's so you know, what's so interesting and then they come here and they get it because <laughs> it's so, again, just so different. I mean, I think that's one thing about our town is that it's, it, what you see is what you get, you know, there's really, nobody's putting on any facades or um, any airs, <laughs> of course, and um, so it's, it's about, I think, the truest um, New Mexico kind of off the beaten path place to be.